Hi viewers, hope you guys are keeping well. So again, I am here with one of the special guests. You know, Ozasia is starting from 24th of October and so many good things are there like you will enjoy each and every moment of Ozasia Festival. Elite Festival Center and Ozasia Festival are bringing world-class events that includes performances, comedy, you name it, the Lucky Dumpling Market and you name it, it's there. Food, music, fun, writings, panel talks, everything is there. So without wasting any more moment, I have a special guest here whom I have to welcome. I'm feeling pleased to welcome a leading award-winning comedian. He's a stand-up comedian, broadcaster, producer. He's a writer, you name it. And so many, he is wearing so many hats with that uh, acknowledgements. One and only Sami Shah. Sami Shah is Pakistani-Australian award-winning comedian who do stand comedy and he do curation of a couple of programs which are award-winning programs and we are lucky Sami is coming here. So Sami, welcome to you in this discussion for our viewers. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a, it's a real joy to be here. That's good. It's nice you have taken time out. I, I thank uh, Oz Asia team as well for arranging this interview. So as we know, like uh, Oz Asia is starting with full bang on opening night and a couple of more shows. So you are bringing weekend of words. Guys, I take a little bit of a moment to introduce a little bit about this uh, weekend of words. Weekend mm -hmm. of word is a vibrant celebration of Asian and Asian Australian literature, writing and ideas. And this is the largest gathering of Asian and Australian writers on one platform and thinkers within this country. And you know what? This program is curated by one and only Sami Shah. So Samiji, now it's up to you. I have defined the wisdom of words. So now yeah. we have to hear from you about wisdom of words in detail. So can you just brief uh, what it's all about and what special you're bringing in this year created show? Yeah, thank you so much, Ji. Um, so it's yeah, Weekend of Words is what we're calling it. It's a literary festival. Um, and, you know, literary festivals happen all the time where they get writers and to talk about their, their works. But this is the only one. And you like you said, which is just for Asian Australians and people from Asia. Um, and uh, and just to clarify also, Asian Australians tend to, in Australians particularly, um, uh, Gora Australians always think Asian means Chinese or Vietnamese or something. But for us, it means all of Asia, the whole continent, um, you know, the original meaning of the word. So um, then that's the way I've kind of tried to do the festival. I've had got people from everywhere, from uh, Indian Australians to you know, Bengali Australians to Pakistani Australians to, but I guess I'm the Pakistani Australian. And then we've got, you know, Bilkul. And then we've got Chinese Australians, we've got um, Vietnamese, we've got people from Singapore coming in, we've got people from Sri Lanka coming, we've got people from everywhere kind of coming and, and they're all taking part. And they're not all writers of novelists either. They are comedians, they're writers, there's Poets, they you know, as you know, Asia it, poetry is such a big part of our language and the way we all express ourselves. Uh, there's screenplay writers. There's you know all kinds of writing. Anyone who makes a living with words is going to be there. And I think it's uh, like it's bringing together Asian established Asian and Asian Australian established and emerging voices. Very good. Yeah, and, uh, and that emerging so part is very important for me also. There are people who. So it's their first book or their first TV show or their first, you know, whatever. But they get access to audiences who care, who are interested in a way that maybe, you know, the big festivals like the Melbourne, Sydney, Adelaide Writers Festivals may not even notice them right now. But because they're part of our community, we want to celebrate them. And that really means a lot to me. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, the beauty of Oz Asia Festival because it's bringing so many cultures together, so many talents together. And it's not only in Australia because when it's showcased worldwide, so it's opening new avenues for the emerging talent as well. Bilkul, and, and and we've been very particular about that. We've got a relationship with the Singapore Writers Festival. Um, you know, we've been in touch with the other right, like Ubud Writers Festival and stuff, and found out you know who's good that you have that we can bring over, and that's how we got someone like Anton Her, 
uh, Vajra Chandra Sekara, who is from Sri Lanka, who's one of the best science fiction fantasy writers right now. Um, so, you know, all of these people, along with, you know, people that everyone knows, you know, you've, you've got your Sukhjit Kaur Khalsa, you've got your Benjamin Law, you've got Urvi Majumdar, you know, yeah. you've got your Sara Saleh, you've got people who are famous, and then you've got people who are new. And I think that's what's so exciting about this. And, you know, the, another excitement here is building up one of this program, which you have created, that's Wisdom of Words for three days. It's full of literature and comedy. And there is, a special, there is a special, special one-day comedy extravaganza, which is coming mm -hmm. here as a special comedy night, in which you are also part of it. So can yeah, you just right. so, talk about it? Yeah, so that, that was, the comedy show is curated by um, Beverly Wang. Um, who's a comedian as well, and that's me. It's got um, I can't remember some of the other comedians on there, but there's uh, really Urvi's there. Urvi Urvi of course um, there. We've got uh, Uchi, Sashi Pereira. Yeah, Pereira is there. Uh, um, and Sashi's going to be amazing. She's one of the biggest names in comedy right now. We've got Jennifer Wong, obviously Lawrence Lung, um, Takashi Wakasugi, who, uh, who's a Japanese comedian. So you got people from literally again all over Australia. Um, and I think it's emceeing, emceed by Jason Chong, who's an Adelaide local <laughs> celebrity. You know, I can't walk down Adelaide with Jason without everyone stopping him always. Yeah. Um, and it's, so it's, it's connected. Yeah, that's exciting. Because of ABC, it's connection because you are a journalist as well. You do shows with ABC and uh, Jason Chang. Yeah, you, you will be having a good team up out there. Absolutely. And then the other exciting thing that I'm very excited about, there is, this was my idea, which because uh, we have a debate every year. And so every year, the debate topic is something very, very fun. And this year, they told me, they're like, you know, what fun idea do you think we should have? And I like causing chaos. So the idea I came up with was Chinese food versus Indian food. And then I put the panel full of Indian food with Chinese people and I put the panel full of Chinese food with Indian people and then that would be fun to, <laughs> for everyone to fight about. So I just thought that would be a really exciting debate. So that's taking place. We have a gala. But the thing that is really important for, I guess, everyone to remember is the whole weekend of words, like all of these festival events, the panels that we have, the discussions we have, they're free. You're, no, you don't pay, have to pay a penny. So just yes. come to the Adelaide Festival Center and walk around and you will meet amazing writers and listen to amazing conversations for free. Desis love free things. We live yeah, for free. Right. Yeah, that's so what I was, going, I was going to ask you. You have a special message for Desis in Adelaide, South Australia, because there's a chance. Because when you see someone from your community making to the charts, so it's Thank an you. opportunity to meet, to learn, make connections. And this is an opportunity mm. I think nobody wants to miss it. And Thank so far, Adelaide is concerned. And it is like uh, full of people who are book lovers, literature, writing. Mm, definitely. They love, yeah, they love to be part of it. And definitely you're looking forward for full house in your shows. In edit that I can, from my side, yes, I can see there's so much excitement because the kind of work Oz Asia and Adelaide Festival Center team has done. So it's amazing. So you can expect full house for your shows. And any particular message you want to convey to the Asian diaspora no doubt locals mm -hmm. will be coming so particularly for asian diaspora you have a special message for them absolutely it, the message is that we are now finally after a long time in australia we are getting our voices out now you know we're on tv we're writing books and getting published you know we're on radio we're in the, uh, in all of these spaces and so there's a lot of the young people now who want to learn how they can also do it. You know, yeah. I'm old now. I'm, I'm 46 years old. There's 20 something year old the teenagers who want to learn. Come to the Weekend of Words. Ask anyone. Just, you know, go up to some of the writers and the poets and the comedians and ask them how they got their work published or their TV shows made. Learn from them. Um, they have wisdom to pass on. And then hopefully, you know, the people who do come, 10 years from now, five years from now, maybe even one year from now, who knows, they'll that's be good. on the panel at the Weekend of Words next year. And that will be exciting. Definitely. And uh, you have uh, very well said, like, uh, this is an opportunity because we all are Australians. We are, like born in other country, our parent country, and we respect that culture, we respect here. And it's so amazing to see Australia being a multicultural country. And again, the opportunity, what we get, everyone has an opportunity. And it's now time to young generation, like come up, learn from you guys. And you never know what connections you make and what opportunity you get out there. And for 
Aliens like Aliens or other interested visitors who are visiting here. It's an opportunity for you as well from tourism perspective. You come enjoy our city. It has a lot to offer as well as enjoy the ultimate shows OZ Asia Festival has put in here. And for Sami, yes, we all are looking forward to have him here in Adelaide. And for three days, yes, it's going to be fun. And if you guys need any further information, you can go on OZ Asia website. Definitely. And Sami, uh, before going, so may I ask you, what's your favorite food? Okay, so lots of different food foods. Obviously, food, I'm food going to say desi food. Food, food has a connection with the writers, musicians, so we can't go I have maybe. one. I have one particular food that is connected to Oz Asia always, which okay. is if you go to the Lucky Dumpling Markets that starts yeah. every uh, at Oz Asia Festival, there's a stall that does paratha nachos. Nachos made out of parathas. And I'm telling you, it's insanely good. I cannot get over how good it is. I never even thought of the idea until I had them for the first time. And every year, all I think about is I'm going to go to Adelaide and I'm going to go to Oz Asia. And I'm going to go to the Lucky Dumpling and get paratha nachos. So right now, that's my number one goal. So now I know if I can't find Sami inside the Adelaide Festival Center, I know the place now where I can get hold of you. Exactly. And we do Just mentally. always at the Paratha Nacho stand. <laughs> that's great. That's great. And I'm looking forward to meet you here in person as well and being there with your shows. Wish you all the best. And again, thank you very much for taking time out. You have a lovely Thank you for giving me the time. And thank you for the smile, the food talk and wisdom of words. Already we have got so many words of wisdom with you. And I hope our locals will enjoy your company. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ji. Thank you.